Well, way before superhero movies were cinematic gold mines, there was a TV show that was way ahead of its time. Booed as Wonder Woman, the original superhero powerhouse pioneering female-led comic book stories. Officer, those men robbed our bank. You say these men robbed your bank? Yes. Uh, this wonderful woman in the bathing suit stopped them. Okay, stand back, stand back. Suppose we start with your name. Wonder Woman. Sure. That's the last name, Woman. First name, Wonder, right? <laughs> I love that. It is a great pleasure to welcome the, fam <laughs> the fabulous Wonder, uh, who is Linda Carter, live from Washington, D.C. Hi, Linda. Nice to see you. Oh, we just love Hi. seeing that footage of you as Wonder Woman. <laughs> Very funny. It's beautiful. But <laughs> Thank we'll, you. We'll get to the Wonder Woman stuff in just a moment. But what we need to tell our viewers, uh, you have this very successful career in music. And you have a new single. It's called Rise Up. It's just been released. Can we take a listen? Yes, yeah. I'd love that. Thank you. But if we all stand together, we can rise above. Amazing. Amazing. What inspired Rise Up? Rise Up. Well, it's about uh, rising up. I, I wrote it to rise up for democracy. Uh, rise up for what's going on in the world, what's, um, it, it's an, um, an anthem for democracy, an anthem for, um, an anthem uh, to, uh, for those who want to rise up for something that is important for them, whether it's climate change or democracy or uh, somehow to, uh, 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 well, in our country anyway, that they have taken away the right to choose and um, so many other things. And and uh, we've actually given a call to action. You can you can put the spin on your spin and, and send it to me at riseup at lindacarter.com and we may be able to post it for you. That's, so, pr that's pretty uh, incredible, Linda. Is it gathering momentum? Yeah. And, and, what, and, and just more broadly. We have millions of, we have millions of followers already. We've got mm. millions of of, uh, uh, of people sending them in, uh, sending celebrities and all kinds of people send them in and, and post it on their own social media what they're rising up for, uh, voting rights. Um, uh, there's a lot going on that is negative, and I'm just trying to inspire people to rise up for what they believe in, for what they want, for what they uh, personally have in in store for uh, for their own activism for their own uh, to empower them to really have a a, a, uh, a, a voice a, something that they a voice thank a you voice. very much no, absolutely because you. you know what this is using your superpowers for good your wonderful superpowers because to many people you, you are still their favorite Wonder Woman how does it feel to have such loyal fans who who love all that work that you did in the in the seventies. Well, I, I would say that it's a little daunting. Um, when you are working 14 and 18 hour days, uh, you're not really aware. I, I certainly wasn't aware of, uh, of of the impact that Wonder Woman had. And and uh, I, I was a little bit gobsmacked at, at what what the influence was. I hear you, Linda, <laughs> describe you even being surprised by, by just how much this grew in, into such a phenomenon. What do you think was the magic of it? What captivated people for so long and made it so enduring? I think she was relatable. Uh, I think superheroes in many ways are, are not relatable, but because she didn't wear a mask... And she, she was, you know, she was right yeah. there. And so it was about her kindness, her goodness, and and it wasn't really about the super power. It, it was about all these innate things in her that wanted to right the wrongs of the world and to be a, a positive influence. Look at her do that plane. Oh, my <laughs> God, she's so good. Um, you, you uh, she's spinning that, she's spinning that <laughs> plane around. So uh, strong. Uh, she, strong girl. Uh, and that's really what it is. It is uh, that she's doing what all the other women on her island could do, mind you. So she didn't think she was all that. She just was doing what she does, which is who we are as women. We just do what we do. We juggle a lot of things and, 
and uh, we're these complex people, these complex characters that have so much love and so much wisdom and so much uh, about us that is um, uh, uh, bold and beautiful. Yeah. And 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 I think that that is what is the relatable thing for women and it, that it isn't about the it isn't about the fist it's about it's about the fist here the heart. you know it's about heart. this part yeah you got tapped to cameo in the latest sequel so, so that must yeah. have been a, a real full circle moment for you. That was great. It was great. It was <laughs> fabulous. Um, I, I am very good friends with Gal Godot and with Patty Jenkins. We are a, we are our own little tribe. We are a, uh, we are a threesome. We adore each other and. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's she she is. Uh, we are really great friends, and and I adore her, and I am so happy for her success, and the success of Patty, and uh, you know, it, to have come full circle is great. Mm. Is really you know to see this come alive again, and I think in many ways it re. There was a resurgence of interest in my Wonder Woman when she did her Wonder Woman, when they did their Wonder Woman. Um, there was a resurgence in the in the interest in mine, and uh, and it's all one. You know, uh, hers is for this age, and mine was uh, for another age, and it actually brought it back. So I'm, uh, and my daughter when she saw it, she said it was the first time that she really got the sense of why people loved. Wonder Woman yeah. so much. How incredible. And just on, just on your daughter, Linda, uh, music's in the family. She's following in your footsteps. It is. She is. She has a new release, and it's called Aftermath, and she's going to be following that up with a new album. Her name is Jessica Carter Altman, uh, and uh, she is uh, on Spotify and all the rest of the streaming platforms. So we've got Rise Up for me, and we've got Aftermath for Jessica Carter Altman. And my son, actually, on April 12th, has got a... Uh, uh, a new series that is coming out, and that is um, called Fallout, and that's on Amazon. And oh, wow. uh, it is it, it's based out it's based on a on a really really super successful game that called Fallout. Yeah, wow. and um, uh, 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 Jonathan Nolan uh, is directing, and and my son James uh, is executive producer on it, and uh, it's going to be out uh, April twelfth. What an incredibly talented yeah. family you are! Congratulations so on, <laughs> on everything that the Carter family Very is doing. Exciting. It's been a, a real treat uh, to talk to you. I, I just loved Wonder Woman as a girl growing up. I always wanted those. You guys uh, are great. Those You're really pads. wonderful. And what, what you wouldn't know, Linda, what you wouldn't realise, but I need you to know that we're such fans that we've done this interview in the Invisible Jet this morning. Yes. We climbed oh, in. You did we not. weren't going to tell you, you but did. the gig's up now. I, 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 I can't see it. No, <laughs> but you would have known, I was wondering when you would have known that we were coming to you from the Invisible Jet, and I, I'm sure that, you know, if you think very, about it, you'll pick that up. Very, very clever, but I can't see the seat. <laughs> oh, Linda, lovely talking Darn. to you. You can stream Linda's <laughs> latest Thanks, Linda. single, Rise Up, as well as everything from her talented family. It's There it is there, Linda Carter. Thank you, Linda.